Today I'm going to talk about seven uncommon side hustles you can start right now and start making a few hundred dollars from every single week. And the first one is this. And it's actually what I came to right now, except no one came. To really explain it, I'm going to have to go back home. Okay, it was nice getting some sun, although no one came to my Airbnb tour, but I have to put this on so you take me serious because this side hustle that I'm about to talk about is so underrated and no one is talking about it and it's a great opportunity for you because you want to make money. There are people making thousands of dollars a month just by giving tours. Now how this works is you go on the Airbnb website and that's a platform where you can obviously book in different places to stay but what they also offer is airbnb experiences as you can see right here and you can book in different type of activities to do for the place that you are going to in paris for example you can maybe book in a wine tour a cooking class dancing lessons whatever it is but what they also do very commonly is walking tours of different areas such as nature reserves nightlife tours city tours maybe specific historical areas and you go to one of these places someone guides you around and you talk with them have fun and it's a pretty cool experience and all you have to do is you walk around and collect money you get to be outside it, it's pretty nice it's a great way to meet new people and i'm actually going to talk about something that can make you even more money with this in a moment but before that we have to rate this as we're going to do with all the other side hustles so you want to stick to the end to really see which is the best side hustle for you but the first thing we got to rate this out of is how easy it is to set up it's pretty easy all you need is a phone to set up this experience and you need a general knowledge of say a specific area you're touring the second thing we want to judge this off is how much money can you make now like i was saying before there's something else you can do to make even more money typically they go for around at least $50 per tour, which is great. But you can actually offer premium if you offer other features inside of the tour, such as maybe if you're giving a town tour, you could stop off and get a cafe somewhere, maybe a lunch, maybe a lunch in a restaurant. If you're touring a, a nature reserve, you can maybe stop off at an area where you can dip into a river, very nice and fun. And just doing features like that, people love it. And you can actually then start selling stuff for like $100. And people will buy this. Like this person, for example, does walking tours in Rome, and this is the amount of money she's made. Where this person here offers tours in Australia, and this is the amount of money they've made like these are just two examples there's so many other people making a lot of money from this so it can definitely make you a lot of money even if you only have like five people per month booking your service that's already 250 dollars minimum now one thing that can actually be a huge obstacle to you making money is if you're in a very low populated area or in an area that doesn't get too much tourists because then you're not really going to get too many customers every single month so you need to be in somewhat of a busy area like Florida, new york australia any of the major european cities and that's actually one of the downsides of this depends where you live what we also got a rate out of is what is the long-term potential of this and this is where it really excels because if you do this consistently obviously word of mouth spreads and obviously more people will be booking your business as you also get more reviews on airbnb but as months go by you can actually then start maybe hiring other people to do the tours for you and you just collect the paycheck and then you can actually turn it into a business where you maybe do tours all over different countries cycling tours maybe it could be kayak tours different type of tours which you can start expanding once you've done walking tours for a few months so just those three factors alone are great and that's why i'm rating this three stars but the next thing that we got to talk about is the very uncommon side hustle that no one's talking about but there are so many people making money from this and th that is leasing equipment so anytime you have any equipment just lying around such as recording equipment maybe a camera maybe maybe a drone any stuff like this that is typically expensive to buy people actually don't want to you know spend five thousand dollars on a drone they'd rather just rent it out for a few days for maybe three hundred dollars there's many websites that offer these type of services and it can be really profitable if you actually just have all this technology lying around right you can just essentially rent it out but something you should also do is many people talk about these garage sale things where you know you go to a garage sale and you flip items but instead of flipping an item and just selling it straight away what if you got an item and then actually you started renting it out and you just make money consistently but is it better than an airbnb tour well let's rate it the first thing is it can be hard to set up obviously if you don't have any equipment if you do have equipment it's pretty easy you just go on a website and start renting it out but how much money can you make well that's the thing it depends again where you are if you're in a very low populated area you might not be able to make so much money because there might not be so many customers for you because typically it's all local people that you're renting out your equipment to you're not going to ship your stuff out but if you are in a decent area you can definitely make a lot of money and then what you can also do is after you've done this for a few months and maybe you get consistent clients you can offer them retainers where they just pay you every single month and it's guaranteed that they're locked in with the ability to have whatever you're selling and this way you can actually just collect money passively which is great right that's what you want to do passive income and this is necessarily one way of that and that actually ties in with the longevity of the business because obviously as you do this longer you can get retainers and then you can actually maybe eventually start a company that leases equipment and with the money you make renting out all these type of things you could even buy more equipment as higher in demand and then you get even more customers and really build your business so that's why for this reason the leasing equipment i'm gonna rate it two out of three stars because it has very good potential but it's obviously it can be quite hard to set up now you're not gonna believe this next side hustle and that is selling snails we have people like joshua mayo talking about that you can sell your 
poop, right? But what you can also do is actually sell snails. And essentially you are growing these snails and then selling them, which is kind of hilarious now to think about it, but I have to put it on this list because there are people making good money with this. And this is pretty uncommon. You set up a farm in your own home, you know, kind of like those ecosystem videos that you've been seeing go viral on YouTube about people building kind of, you know, their own little world inside of their own home. But you do this for a snail specifically, a snail farm and you farm a bunch of snails. You can also buy some in bulk and, and you farm them in a way. And then you sell to two options, offline and online. If you're selling online, it's the, you know, any market that is in it that wants these type of snails. And obviously then you have the whole world to sell to. But what you can also do, and this is obviously way easier, is sell locally to maybe restaurants who actually want to have these snails for their food, but other places such as markets and anyone who really wants to buy your snails. Now, typically they can go for around $10 a piece, which is actually pretty decent if you're selling even like 10, 10 per month, that's already $100. But there's different maintenance costs and even maybe medical things. And also you have to feed them. So it can make you a lot of money. You just have to be able to sell a lot. So it depends again where you are or who your customers are, or if you're in the right market. And one more thing, it can actually be pretty hard to set up. So it's not the easiest thing in the world compared to the other two side hustles. But don't worry, we're actually gonna be mentioning other side hustles that are way easier to start. But we just have to say this about the snails. Now, what is the long-term ability of this? In my opinion, it has somewhat of a decent business because what you can also do is other than selling them, you can actually create YouTube videos around them because there's a huge interest behind ecosystem videos as we've already covered. Like there's people getting millions of views on ecosystem videos. In my opinion, like I've worked with a lot of YouTube channels and helped them go viral. So in, well, I definitely think there's also an interest behind, behind snail farming and just, you know, making videos about snails. Because people actually are into these type of pet videos. And that obviously has a huge long-term ability because you can build an audience and then leverage that for products and businesses. And you also make money from every view you get. So I'm going to rate this one out of three stars. It can be pretty good for YouTube, but everything else is pretty hard to do. Now, this is the topic of the next side hustle, which is again, it's pretty uncommon and that is dog walking. Walking. And, and this is something like most people talk about, like like lawn mowing or you know cleaning windows or dog walking. It's it's something very stereotypic. It's very much of a cliche side hustle, but I don't see many people talking about it. And I do want to say because this is actually how I was able to make a bit of money a few years ago in summer when my neighbor he asked me, "Yo, could you walk my dog?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." And I just walked him every single day for around an hour, and I made like around fifty dollars per week. Now it doesn't seem like that much, but I wasn't really making any money a week. So to be able to make money like that every single week was was pretty cool. And I was already walking like an hour a day to the park so I just like it's just me adding the dog I can just make money out of it and this is something like unlike the other stuff on the list a 12 year old can start this obviously you need to build trust with the neighbor or whoever you're walking their dog and it depends where you're living but it's pretty easy to set up you can make somewhat decent money depends on your age if you're 18 for example and you're doing this you're obviously not making that much money compared to other people your age but if you're pretty young this can be a great way to make some extra income on the side so it can make you some decent money it's pretty easy to set up but the long-term scope of it again isn't like the the worst worst thing but it's also not the greatest thing because obviously you can then maybe start a dog walking service for people but that's pretty rare because services like that are not too common and it really depends where you are so for that reason i'm going to rate this two out of three stars it really is an easy opportunity for anyone to make just some extra income but it's not the greatest one now the next side hustle is the easy way to make a few hundred dollars every single month starting out but eventually if you do this long enough you can definitely make thousands upon thousands now i saw this video about this guy explaining where you create these ai generated websites and then you put affiliates into them and you can make money out of it. And that's essentially how this works. You don't need to watch that video. I'll explain it right here is you set up a AI website with a topic that has high search volume or that has a lot of interest, typically anything that's recent. And then you publish this website and you also include affiliates into it. And you need a lot of people to read the site just because not everyone clicks on that link. But when you do get a click of the link, you can make money out of this. And this is something very easy to set up. You just need the internet connection. You can do this just off your phone. And it's a pretty good side hustle for anyone who just needs to make some money pretty quick but it starts falling apart when we once we break it down because yes it is pretty easy to set up and yes it can make you a lot of money but the long-term ability of it is you're always trading your time to make that money now you can obviously start hiring people to do that but it's very hard to scale it into something that could make you like you know 100k a month compared to some of the other businesses like we talked about like snail youtube channels or a tour company like all those businesses can definitely in the long run make you 100k a month if it's a proper business but something like this is much harder to get to that level so just something I would be doing to just get some initial cash so then you can start another venture. Now for this affiliate side hustle I'm gonna rate it two out of three stars 
because you can make money with it relatively quick. It just doesn't have the best long-term potential. Now, the next side hustle that can make you a few hundred dollars every single month realistically is home organization or home cleaning, anything along those lines. This is actually something a lot of people hire, especially in rich areas like Florida, for example, or other cities in New York, where people have a lot of money and they don't want to clean up their home or organize it. There's two ways. You can obviously clean people's home, which is the, the typical cleaning, but there's also something else that you can make money with, which is organizing. There's actually a service that the rich people hire to have their closets organized. Like this seems crazy. Closet needs organization. But like some rich people have a very big wardrobes that they just want to get it organized by a professional, which seems funny. But again, if you live in a very rich area, you can definitely make decent money from this. It could just be like a weekend gig that you do to make a few hundred dollars. And why I like this so much is because it's pretty broad, like home organization, but you can niche it down and become the best in your field. Maybe that's closet organizing, kitchen cleaning, office organization, all these different types of niches you can become very good at and then make a business out of it. it it's a great side hustle starting out, but it has such huge business implications because then you can eventually start broadening it out into other areas, start hiring people and build a proper business out of it. So it's great. Now, is it easy to set up? Well, yeah, you need some of it. You just need a basic decent knowledge of how to you know, organize stuff and make it look good. It can obviously be hard to start and getting customers if you're already in an area where there's other people doing it. So competition can be a problem, but how I would differentiate myself from competition and not let it affect me at all is if I niche down, like for example, there could be home organizers and all these different types of you know organization services. But if I niche down to specifically only do offices, then I could become the best in that area and people would rather book me who's the best in office cleaning, in office organization, than someone who just does home organization. Now what I would do actually is start seeing around me, okay, who are some people who have some nice homes and I would just do it for them for free, get a testimonial, get experience and people can see this and then actually start selling the service. But it can be pretty hard if you're in an area like where I am where it's pretty cheap and there isn't that many rich rich people around. Many people aren't gonna pay you for this. So you do need to be in an area where people can spend a lot of money, but it's pretty easy to start. You can make a lot of money with it. You could go out for a few hours in the weekend, clean up and make a, an office look very professional. And you could charge $50 for that. Just doing that once a week for a month is already $200. And the longevity of it, as we've already spoken, is great. So that's why I'm rating this three stars. Now this next thing is actually what helped me hit my first ever 10K a month. And it's a side hustle you can start out, but then it goes even one step further and it will allow you to get into that 10K a month mark. So what it is, it is a virtual assistant. Now, rich people have personal assistants who help them out with all these different types of tasks. But a virtual assistant is someone who does all that, but basically online. There's so many rich people now who have obviously become very successful online. So virtual assistants, there's definitely a market for it because there's all these online businesses. And all these people are very busy. So a lot of times they need help with all of these different types of things, part of their business or maybe part of their personal life. So what I did, I really saw this and I was like, okay, you know, there's all these different types of positions in the niche I was in. It was working with YouTubers. There's people who do YouTube strategy, maybe focusing on, on how to make the best videos ever like storytelling. But what I did is just, okay, I wanna just help YouTubers out. So I just pitched myself as an assistant and I got a lot of jobs with that and started making a few thousand dollars every single month. And this is one of the best opportunities. Like don't sleep on this, this is great. Because what I did then is as I was working with these very successful channels and just helping them out with YouTube tasks, also just other stuff they needed. Whenever I spoke with them, cause I often texted them, I got their phone number. They would rub off on me and their knowledge slowly started rubbing off on me. And I got smarter based on YouTube and I was actually able to then get more results for more people as I just started learning everything. Now this is me. If you, for example, want to become a successful drop shipper, you could actually become a virtual assistant, which we'll call VA to a rich drop shipper. And then imagine you help them out and then you slowly learn how they became successful and then you apply it to their own life. Cause this is the next step of the side hustle. That's what I did. After I was assisting people for a long time, I then started my own channel with everything I had learned from them. And then I was able to generate over $17,000 just from one channel in around six months, which is crazy. And it all came from me first assisting these YouTubers and learning off them. So is it easy to start out? Absolutely. You just need to be able to be good on the internet essentially. And that's obviously pretty common nowadays. So it's pretty easy to start. Can you make a lot of money with it? Yeah, you can. I mean, even a few hundred dollars a month is great. And as you help more people, you can start charging more and also charge retainers where they're paying you a specific fee every single month. That's how you can start making a few thousand dollars a month. And long-term ability of it. I mean, I just explained to you, you're a virtual assistant and then eventually you start the business that you're assisting. And that ladies and gentlemen can make you very, very rich. It's how I'm going to become a millionaire in my opinion, because I'm learning from all these different types of people. I'm also starting a channel now, as you can see, and that is specifically based off all my experience in the past year from working with all these different types of channels. But if you want to keep the VA business, what you can then start doing is drop servicing where you're hiring people from cheap countries and paying them say a thousand dollars a month to do your clients work that maybe they pay $3,000 for and you make $2,000 profit. So this side hustle is three out of three stars. It is the best side hustle. Do not sleep on it. My goal truly for this video is that you are able to make a few hundred dollars a month. I'm living proof 
proof of this. It's a great business model and something no one really talks about. I really want you to make a few hundred dollars every single month because I'm going to be honest with you, it is not hard. So I truly believe if you do any of these side hustles, work hard in it, you can make a lot of money. I want you to be able to do this because you deserve to make money. No one deserves to be poor. You have the right to be rich and you do that by consuming videos like this where you can actually learn from other people who have done it. And that's why I would tell you to watch this video right here where I talk about way more ways to make a lot of money. Click it right now. You will not regret it.